Ariel Hawani on Long Island in New York alongside Dennis Bermudez, who meets Darren Elkins this Saturday at UFC on Fox 25. Dennis, this is interesting for you because you're not born in Long Island, but Correct. you do live here now. Yes. So it's a backyard fight. And you said just moments ago that you're actually doing the exact same thing that you've been doing the entire training camp, which means sleeping in your own bed, staying at home, no hotel stuff for you. You're not switching it up. Why? Um, I like the comfort of my home, you know. Uh, I think I have better quality things in my house than a hotel room has to offer. But sometimes people want to, like, turn that switch, right? Now you're in fight mode, fight week mode, things like that. Did you get so up until Saturday, like, you're just going to wake up at home on Saturday and go to the fight? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Um, I've got a bigger refrigerator in my sure. fridge. I have all my, like, uh, recovery stuff at my fridge. I got, like, you know, Normatec, like, stim machines. Um, yeah, so I'm going to use all those. I have space. You know, and it's not a far drive. It's sure. 25 minutes away. That's it. That's it. How many people will you have there? I see your mom is here at the open workouts. How many friends and family will you have in attendance? I mean, f family alone, I'll probably have like 25 or 30. Okay. Um, and then, you know, a ton of people. My gym's right here, not too far away. Um, so, I mean, and, and also two of my teammates, Ryan LaFlair and Chris Wade, are going to be on the card. So, if, if just I'm not enough for you to be there, yeah. then having Ryan on the card is that extra push. And then if that's not enough, having Chris Wade on the card is that extra push, man. Right. So, it's going to be packed out. It's kind of interesting because it feels like this is the MSG card that wasn't. Like, all you guys that didn't get on that card are on this card, right? Does this sort of feel like that to you as well? Yeah, I've been hearing that, man. This is, this is the card that should have been on MSG. New York versus the world. Yeah, yeah, and it is. I mean, and... Um, a lot of guys that I've been training with this camp, I've been sparring with Jimmy Rivera and Shane uh, the Hurricane. Um, Lyman Good has been working with Ryan the Flair. So, I mean, we've all kind of, all the people that are within driving distance of each other have actually really come together and started working as like a whole team in preparation for this fight. Last time we saw you, of course, was against the Korean Zombie. Looking right. back, could you tell us what went wrong? It wasn't my night. I mean, I, looking back, exactly what happened, I moved left and I threw a jab and I punched across his body and he threw up cut at the right time off of a slip. It was a perfect execution on his, uh, on his end, but like when I re-look at it, I had his number. Yeah. You know, I was, I, was, I, was, I was beating him until I lost, you know, which is, sounds like a sore loser, but I am a sore loser. You know, I, I, I trained hard to be a winner and, and that's, that's how it goes. Has it been hard to digest the loss? I've actually moved, you know, I moved past it. Um, I've had a lot of distractions in that. I just bought a house and stuff like that. Um, Congrats. Thank you. My, my, my boys are getting older, you know. Um, and then speaking of my sports college just a little bit on previous losses, and it's like, man, you can't get better thinking about those things, you know. You get better thinking about the future and, and what you're going to do next, you know. Um, for, you know, a story going back just the way I am. I mean, I remember I was younger. I lost $20, and my father was like, What's wrong with you? Like, aren't you mad? Like, what? I'm like, mad isn't gonna find the twenty dollars, pop. Wow. You know, we're not gonna harp on it. Right. By the way, sports psychologist, have you been working with one for a while? Yeah, I've been working with a guy called uh, Lenny out at uh, Cal State Fullerton, and um, just sporadically here and there. Um, you feel like it helps? Yeah, I think so. You know, even sometimes I'm like, sometimes I'm like, I'm like going against him, you know, a little bit. I'm like, he's just saying that because he wants me to think that, you know, like. But I think overall it's good. Did Zombie surprise you? Did you not expect him after the layoff to look that good? Um, no, I was I was ready for that. I mean, I know if I'm on the couch too long, I'm like, man, I want to get in there and, and do some damage. You know, I could only imagine what two years would feel like. You know, so I would imagine he was super hungry and stuff like that. Um, he zombied me. <laughs> you know, I clocked him good. I had him out, and I'm like, why is this dude still marching forward? Like it like threw me off a little yeah. bit. You know, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but if we get that rematch, we will capitalize on that. Speaking of damage and speaking of that kind of fighter, Darren Elkins is like that as well. We saw that in his last fight against Bektik. Yeah. Do you feel like you're going to have to dig down really deep to beat this guy because it's hard to put him away? Yeah, probably. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, we're gonna go deep water for sure. I'm ready for that, you know. Obviously, we're looking for an early finish. Every fighter is, you know. They're lying if they said they're, you know, trying to be in there for 15 minutes. Um, but yeah, man, we're gonna just we're gonna meet pressure with pressure, you know. We're gonna make some diamonds. Uh, and 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 do you feel like this is a completely different fighter from a couple of years ago? Like for him to be on this winning streak ever since joining Alpha Male, mm -hmm. not a lot of people saw this coming. Have you seen a big change in the way he fights? He's he's always been a pretty tough guy in my eyes. I th I think the um, 
I think he just trains with better people now and has, you know, steel sharp and shield. I think he's become a sharper fighter, sure. being on alpha male and just working out with better guys. Um, some old habits still exist, and I mean, you know, they 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 die hard. So um, like what? I mean, I didn't see any like performance changes, like in the way he moves. Yeah. You know, he he doesn't look faster. He doesn't look stronger. Um, so yeah. So at his core, same old guy. You're going to look to capitalize on those holes. Yeah, yeah. I think I think he probably runs the same mile he ran when he was in Indiana. Yeah, yeah. I just think he knows how to, you know, block a kick better. I don't, you know, I don't know. Last thing, any uh, Guinness Book of World Records that we're going after? Anything on your mind? I've been asked that uh, a couple times here. I gotta like actually get the book and look at it. Okay. I should be getting a free one, no? Yeah, because you have the record. For those that don't know, what's the record that you have? I had the fastest time to drink one liter of lemon juice through a straw. Yeah. That's incredible. And you were kind of, you, you, this is not something that you set out to do. You were sort of challenged, right? Yeah, I was at the right place at the right time. Uh, again, what is the time? 22 seconds. The least they should give you is a book. I know. I agree. I gotta, I gotta, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to DM them. Okay. I'm going to send them a tweet. Did they give you like a certificate or something? Well, that's what really pushed me. So I did, I, I broke the record my first attempt. However, there was a little bit of juice in the bottom of the, um, like in the brim yeah. of the of the bottom of the yeah, yeah. bowl, so they didn't count it. And I saw the award, the plaque there. So I was like, uh -huh. I need to take that now, knowing that I can do it. Even though I have one liter of juice in my stomach, I need to take that home with me. Cause I, I believe me, I thought about like, man, I can't. I've got a li I got one liter of lemon juice acid in my stomach. I physically can't. And then I was like, Dennis, don't be a Nancy, like. You, you can, you know, that's going home with you. So, so wait, went, you don't officially have the record? Or you did it no, again? I did it again. Oh, okay. So I drank two liters of lemon juice. In the span of how long? I don't know, 20 minutes. Oh my lord. Yeah, so dinner that night was tough. And then you got the plaque? Yeah. But not the free book? Not the free book. Right. Well, I don't, yeah, I, I, I don't have the book. So, but you're in the book? I am in the book. Okay. Yeah. Well, after this, we'll tackle another record. Let's do it. All right. Thank you, Dennis. Best of luck to you, my man. Thank you.